Adam, you literally took the call while we're on the show. What is the compensation? What did you just learn for Russell Wilson? Well, we're still we're still going through. It's going to include multiple picks, multiple ones. It's going to include Drew Locke, the quarterback. It's going to include the defensive lineman, Shelby Harris. And I think there's going to be more to this trade that's still coming in. I think Denver's in the process of notifying certain players. As they get notified, we get notified. As we get notified, we notify you, Max. But at the very least, it's going to be multiple first-round picks, other picks, Drew Locke, Shelby Harris, and more. And when we have the full package put together, we'll certainly let you know. Let, let me ask you about the same question I just asked Dan. So, obviously, they were pursuing Aaron Rodgers, according to you know, everything that everyone understood. Th- Rodgers announces today, and then, yeah. like that, they announced a deal for Russell Wilson. Does that mean they had a contingency for Russell Wilson? How quickly did this thing come together? No, here, here are the facts in my mind, okay, at least in talking to various people. Denver's been engaged with Seattle for weeks now, and those talks heated up in the last couple of weeks, quite a bit. And over the weekend, you could sense that something was clearly going on here at this point in time. And today, the two sides reached agreement on that trade. Now, again, you could see the timing, but the fact of the matter is the Broncos have been engaging with the Seahawks for weeks now with offers going over trade packages, whereas the Broncos didn't even speak to the Green Bay Packers about any trades involving Aaron Rodgers. The Broncos really believe that Russell Wilson was their plan A. George Payton, their GM, initiated the talks here to try to get it done, and they have an agreement pending a physical and pending Russell Wilson waiving his no-trade clause, which I am told he is expected to do. Now, there are multiple teams, multiple teams that approach Seattle about a trade for Russell Wilson. But I think Russell Wilson always wanted to be in an environment where he felt like he could win, where he felt like he was comfortable with the team, the personnel, the offensive weapons around him. And I think when he looked at that Denver roster and saw some of the players on that offense and with the way that that defense had played, I think he felt quite comfortable signing off on a trade to Denver, which he hasn't done yet, but which he's in the process of doing. I can't imagine anything would get in the way. this, This is phenomenal. Look, we've all talked about the Denver Broncos being a quarterback away from being legitimate contenders. And now they have a guy that they obviously know can lead you to a championship and play at a very high level. Not only that, a veteran presence for this young roster that they have offensively, and now you can take full advantage of these weapons that you have in Tim Patrick and Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy and 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 Probably a guy that's going to ascend to us talking about being a top three tight end in the league now that Russell Wilson is there and no offense. This is a tailor-made roster for a quarterback of his stature. That's why we talked about Aaron Rodgers going to the AFC as well. Now you talk about the journey and how hard it is to win a to win a division a, a championship or to get to the Super Bowl on this side of the conferences in the NFL. Well, now there's another player to the party. And that's the Denver Broncos. I'm excited for Russell Wilson, man, because this is an opportunity. I felt like things have become stagnant in Seattle. I felt like they had no clear direction of where they were going. And now you get a quarterback with a team that has the defense to play at a very high level and an offense that is going to be very explosive. I'm not saying I think, Jay. They are going to be very explosive with Russell Wilson playing quarterback for them. And now there's a new Super Bowl contender in Denver that everybody in the AFC now has to pay real attention to. It is fun, man. It is fun to know that Russell Wilson may eventually play Josh Allen. He may eventually play Patrick Mahomes. He may eventually play Justin Herbert. I'm talking about to win championships in the playoffs. This is fun. This is the league that never stops giving. This is the league that does not ever let me sleep. And I could not be more ecstatic about Russell Wilson being in Denver. And now we got a chance to talk about another team being a Super Bowl contender. We really need to see him as one of the great quarterbacks of all time. It's time to appreciate the greatness of Russell Wilson. Russell, play fake, steps back, has time, still surveying the field. Now he rolls left. Now he scrambles. Now he's going to throw to the back of the end zone, reaching up, making the catch. Did he 
get his feet and he did! Touchdown, Seahawks! He didn't hit the switch, had to flip the wrist, form shooter can't miss. Huh. Check one on my list, you ain't convinced, go back to the... Huh. Russell drops back, he's gonna throw down the middle, he's got a man! Come on, Devo! Get out of here! Touchdown! The game is over! At the flick of the wrist, huh? Bump shoot, they can't miss, huh? Check one off my list, huh? Yo, I ain't convinced, huh? Go back to the. Huh. Russ takes the snap. Looks, gonna let it fly. Downfield, Tyler Lockett is out there. Lockett makes a catch in the end zone! Touchdown, Seahawks! And the perfect pass from Russell Wilson. I see a guy who's always ready to create. He's one of the best in the league. 12, they're bringing the trophy home. Seahawks, Super Bowl 48 champions.